Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the video tutorial of the navigational mesh generation for our pathfinding system. So in this tutorial I'll be giving uh, a detailed step-by-step -step procedure on how exactly uh, to create the mesh that is going to be used with uh, the pathfinding that we have implemented. So for this tutorial I'll be using 3D Studio Max uh, although uh, our mesh generation process is compatible with other mm, 3D software such as Maya and Blender. Um, so let's begin with creating a very simple and basic environment. Uh, so what I'm thinking is a simple plane and um, a box on it. So I just drew the simple plane and I'm going to make sure it's positioned correctly uh, so that nobody has a tough time using the model. All right, so I have aligned it to the center at the origin. Um, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a box on top of this. Um, there you go. So I have a box on top of it. All right. So now what? So now that you know our environment is done, I'm just going to go ahead and export it as an egg file. So select the egg, add the entire scene. Um, I'm going to call it the environment. Just overwrite an existing file that was there. Okay, so I go ahead and export that. Overwrite it, yes, successfully created. Okay, so it's not textured, but yeah, the model is in there. Okay, so now uh, we actually get into the, the mesh generation process. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna hide, oops, I'm going to hide this box for the time being. So hide selection. And I'm just going to like work on uh, the plane that we created. So what you need to, the next step to do is pretty much uh, divide this plane in um, to, you know, a number of faces based on how complicated you want your mesh to be. So for, for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this um, plane and I'm going to click on the modifiers and so currently it has uh, four segments which is four by four you have um, you know a maximum of 16 nodes on this mesh um, or rather faces right now uh, but before that let me just go ahead and you know make this kind of round it off to better values okay so once I have that what I'm going to do is Say I want to have a mesh with um, 2,500 nodes, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, 50 by 50. So now the plane has um, 2,500 faces. If I kind of zoom in, you can see how uh, the division is made. Um, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and export this um, as an egg file. So I click on the egg file again, go to the modifiers, uh, edit the data in there. So this time I have to make sure I'm exporting only the uh, the plane and not the, uh, the box. So I'm going to do that, select only the plane. Uh, I select that and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Oh wait. I made one small mistake. I forgot to change the name of the file. So yeah, make sure you don't do that. Uh, give a you know clear name. So in this case, I'm going to say plain underscore full underscore mesh. So this will be exported as a different egg file, and you shouldn't be overwriting the environment egg file that you created before. So I'm going to save that. Um, click OK, and I'm going to export it. And let's take a look at that so there you go you have uh, a plane which has all the divisions that you had applied so now the next step is um, important so I'm going to go ahead and unhide all the selections or all the models and what I'm going to do is go to my top view uh, rotate it or pretty much you know go to the bottom view so that you know you can see uh, the bottom of the plane that you created and what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select on this you know select this plane 
right click and convert it to editable poly or mesh you can select either and then I'm going to go ahead and select polygons so this you know the steps that I'm going to do here is uh, pretty straightforward I'm going to select all the faces oops not like that I'm going to select all the faces which are directly beneath uh, the box in which you know in our case this is the obstacle this is one of the obstacles on the plane so I'm going to go ahead and select all the faces on the plane um, which are beneath uh, the box that we have created so which is indicate by, indicated by the, the red highlights so I'm going to go ahead and delete that so as you can see in the perspective viewport um, you know the area that was uh, kind of beneath the ma uh, the box has been removed so all the faces beneath the boss uh, box has been removed from the plane so I'm gonna go ahead and hide the box again um, oh wait yeah there you go so let me just hide that just to show you you know what we have created so this you know the plane that you see here will be called the collision plane uh, because you know the faces which have obstacles or collisions on them have been removed so what I'm going to do is go ahead and select the egg and edit it again make sure you change it into a new name and this time it will be called plane call mesh or you know any name that you think is suitable and I'm going to save that and again I have to make sure that um, you know it's just it's just you know the plane that I've added so once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I'm going to export it so the collision plane has been created and if you preview it you can see you know the faces have been removed so now we have created uh, three egg files and I'm going to go to this you know to the folder where we saved all those files so you can see the three egg files that we created we have the environment uh, we have the full mesh and we have the collision mesh and you can see this um, tool called the mesh gen tool which we created now this tool is going to accept the full mesh and the collision mesh and uh, spit out uh, a .csv file with all the node information so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how that is done so in here I go to the, the command prompt and I'm already in uh, that folder if I just do a DIR you can see um, yeah the meshes that we generated or the egg files that we created I'm sorry and what I'm gonna do is just use this tool mesh gen and uh, be careful about this you need to specify the full mesh first so in this case it will be plain underscore full underscore mesh dot egg and then plain underscore call underscore mesh dot egg so make sure that you know you pass the the complete plane and the, you know, the plane with the collisions on it uh, in this sequence or it will act weird so mesh in plane full mesh dot egg and plane call mesh dot egg I'm going to go ahead enter that and then you get you know uh, it throws out a bunch of information on what exactly is happening and the final step is that all the data is written into a nav mesh uh, or into a dot csv file so if I do go ahead and check the contents of the folder you can see uh, the nav mesh dot csv created here I'm going to go back into Windows and show you the CSV file that was created and open it up in Excel sheet. Um, so here is, you know, an idea of what exactly the CSV file holds. So it has the grid size. So it's 50 by 50 was the number of faces that we had given for the plane, which is why the grid size is 50. And then you have these uh, information about uh, the nodes such as it's you know the x y the grid x grid y you have length width and height uh, of each um, cell and then you have the position uh, in 3d space and 
so you can see the z values and the height is currently zeros and this is because we are not recording the height information as of now um, as it was beyond the scope of our project but anyway so that's the the csv file that is created so once